little tutorial on how to do grommets. They can be really scary at first if you've never used them. I avoided them for a really long time, um, especially the hammer ones because it just seemed like it would be really complicated, but they're actually super easy. So I already marked my grommet placing for this fireside sweater. You can see my yellow marks. And um, once I've done all my marks, what I'm going to do is I actually already did it, but you just want to cut a little hole in your grommet place. Sorry, my camera does not want to focus on that little, there you go. So I already cut a little hole, just big enough that you can push your grommet through, stretching the knit out a little bit. You're going to want to use some kind of interfacing um, to stabilize this, especially this is double brush poly, so if I were to put a grommet in here without any kind of interfacing, generally it's just going to pull right out. There's washers that can help with that, but I usually just do interfacing just to be safe. Last thing you want is your grommets pulled out. So, um, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to push, take this little piece um, of my grommet and I'm going to push it through. You want to go through your top of your garment and I'm going to set you down and push that through right now. And you kind of have to work it a little bit, um, which is good. It actually helps the stable. It, helps it be stable. If you have a hole that's too big, um, it's going to make it more likely your grommet's, grommet's going to come out. So, there you have it. Come on. Doesn't want, there we go, focus. Okay. And then this is what the back side looks like. So top part of the grommet's through, so now what you're going to do is I usually do them all at once and push them through like this, that way hammering goes faster, but for video purposes, we're just going to do one right here. So there we are. Now the grommets can come with um, this little washer, I'm grabbing my piece, It'll, let me grab it, this little clear thing, which is great if you have a not so stable fabric or thin fabrics, because otherwise the grommet won't fit it, it's too thin, and you'll have kind of a loose, loose grommet. So then you've got that, and then you're going to take this piece of the grommet. You're not going to use the plastic washer if you're going through like thick sweater fleece, things like that. Um, but for thinner materials, especially this double brush poly, you're going to use it. So then I grab this piece, and I'm going to put it on top of here, and then boom, you grab your little hammer thing. And you place it, oh, oh, this is hard on a video, right square in the center. Now if you're hammering on a hard surface, which you want a hard surface, you need that hard surface to be able to get enough power behind the hammer. Um, generally I would put down like a, a cloth or something to keep the grommet from getting scratched on the bottom, but I don't, being lazy right now and I don't care too much as I'm lacing through them anyways. So, um, and they're on the bottom of a shirt. Nobody's going to get down that close and look at them. So um, generally put something behind here. You want a nice hard surface. You want to be probably on a ground, not a table to get some force behind you. Put that there and then you're going to take your hammer. Obviously you're going to be two-handed for this. Hold your grommet, uh, hold your tool in place and then you're just going to hammer it down. Bing, 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 bing. Uh, obviously don't hammer your fingers. I've done that before. So you don't need a ton of force, just start tapping pretty, just kind of heavy taps. So I'm going to go ahead and do that right now. We'll see. I'll try to put this camera up, but I don't know if it's going to get anything, but I guess it's better than the ground. So here's my little tool, and just generally when I hear that, I feel like it's gotten pretty good. And then take it off. I'll do double check, make sure it's nice and tight in. Let's check it out. And there you go. So look at that. You see the little washer. You see it's nice and tight. It's not moving anywhere. And you have a nicely placed grommet. Easy as pie.